recent raids, it was criticized for being over the top. We took all these armored vehicles, and driving one of the armored vehicles was Steven Seagal, the action movie star. So he's turning law enforcement into Hollywood entertainment, but he's created these extremely dangerous you know, environments in his jails. They've paid out 50 million in lawsuits now to family members of victims. Tens of millions to family members of people the guards alone have murdered. Yeah, now, like I said earlier, he's at war with Obama over the human rights violations and this, the racial profiling that's going on over there. So it's big news in America. So we all agreed, me, Sally, and the agent agreed, we'll, because this guy's so famous, we'll, we'll concentrate on your time in that jail first. Because I've had a few media stories. And they'd all revolved around Sheriff Joe Pioneer's jail as well, because no one knows who I am. So we, that's what we did. It's, it, Sheriff Joe Pioneer was actually on the cover of the US version, which just went on sale in May. And it's got a different subtitle. Now, getting a literary agent is just one step. You know, it doesn't mean anything yet. Then you have to get published. So the next thing was, the agent, you know, Sally had been giving me feedback on my writing and helping me shape it up and stuff. Then the agent reads it, and he gives a whole new range of feedback and his suggestions, you know, and improvements and stuff like that. So then you've got to go away and spend months incorporating everything that the agent suggested. So it's a whole new round of changes. That probably took up to another year. And then there's the sending out of the manuscript to all of the publishers. And it takes weeks and months and you're just constantly getting rejection after rejection. I think we got about a dozen um, rejections, and he sent it out to about I don't know, 16, 17 people. And I'm thinking, all right, we've come all this way, and now all these publishers are going to say we don't want it. Uh, one of the American publishers, he rejected it because he said Sean wasn't macho enough. That was his reason. <coughs> yeah. So there's all all these um, all these got all these emails back and I'm you know, reading them for the different rejection reasons and stuff like that and we kept them. So anyway, um, it was finally accepted by mainstream publishing out of Edinburgh and they're, and they're actually a division of Random House which is the largest publisher in the world. So thanks to all this string of really good people who helped me, that was how I became a published author. And it really started with my parents, you know, because and my aunt smuggling the blog out of the jail, sending them to my parents, and my parents typing them up and sending me all the printouts later on. So it's thanks to my mum and dad, really. And, you know, it does have a happy ending with all this stuff, after all the graphic violent stuff that I told you before. This is my parents right here on the end. And my aunt Lily, we're all over in witness. <coughs> so that was how I became published. Now,